was nice to have my team come out and, and put another game, you know, basically play two back-to-back -back games where we actually played the game the way I envisioned it. I thought our team came out with, um, you know, great energy on the defensive end of the floor. We rebounded the basketball, and we looked like a team uh, against a, what I think is a very good TCU uh, team. They got great guard play, a little young in the front court, but, um, you know, Coach Christian, Jimmy does a great job with his teams always, and they play the game the right way. So big win for us, huge win. Uh, great win against New Mexico State, another great win against a quality opponent in TCU. And I'm, I'm ecstatic of where my team is right now as far as they just, they're good guys. They're good kids that are, are playing winning basketball. Um, and to see a guy like Anthony Gurley who's put in so much time and energy into becoming a better basketball player of, of really thinking the game now, I'll tell you what, that's as rewarding as being 4-0, seeing him really mature into what I think is playing one of the, the best basketball I've ever seen him play. Is the, is the fact that your guys had a good game and came back with another good game, is, is that symbolize something to you as far as the step? Well, yeah, you know, this is the first year that, well, that we've had a returning team where I've had some guys that have been here and, and coached them for two years in a row. So we've had, we've had good days in practice back to back to back a few times. So it's, uh, you can't play good games back to back until you practice that way. And I think that's the carryover has been seen. And I guess our guys hopefully now realize that they can do that, that they can play two games back to back at a high level, um, and I thought they, I thought they played the game the way it's supposed to be played and the way it's supposed to look. Does it mean something too that you you control the game throughout without really having a good day shooting three pointers, and that's been an ingredient of a lot of your success? Well, that's what I'm trying to get away from. <laughs> it's, it's just winning when we make threes. I mean, I'm trying to get a team that can win when we don't play great or we don't make threes. That the you know I keep telling my team, what's our identity? What do people think of when they think of UMass basketball? And I want it to be that from the minute the clock starts to the second the team walks off the floor, we're up on them, we're playing tough, hard-nosed defense, we're making the game miserable on the other team, we're tenacious, we're taking good quality shots on the offensive end of the floor, and we're sharing the basketball. And I thought for two games, we finally put some of that stuff together. Um, not a complete game, because I thought a couple guys got selfish when we went up 20. I thought that they were looking for some numbers, so I addressed that in the uh, locker room. Defensively, Derek, uh, the uh, the output for the opposition is going down with each game. 67 uh, to start with Ryder and only 48 tonight. And uh, 6 for 32 shooting the three between New Mexico State and TCU tonight. Is that uh, pleasing to you to see guys get out on the perimeter and that's deny not, open looks? That sounds real good. <laughs> it does. Um, you know, the teams aren't always going to miss shots. I mean, they're going to make some of those. So. Um, but you want them to shoot tough, contested shots. I thought our transition defense is much better than it's been in the past, and that's a, a kind of contributed to teams not shooting the ball. But we've been able to get our half-court defense set, and um, we're, we're, we're a good half-court defensive team. I want to be great, and I think we have some work to do as far as um, some different things that we can do to get better. You guys were talking about what's different from maybe last year, the year before. What, what is, in your opinion, is a little bit different this year? The guys are more mature, a little bit older. Um, they've been in the system. They, they're starting to figure out what's expected on them. And I'm coaching them a little bit tougher and rougher this year. I'm trying to get them to realize that this is the way the game's played. I played it at the highest level. I've coached at the highest level that this is what it takes to, to have a winning program. And I've kind of hit them over the head with that numerous times. Um, and you know, it was great to see Harper Williams here tonight, who was kind of one of the original warriors at UMass. And I brought him in the locker room and just kind of pumped him up in front of the team. But what I did tell him, I think this is the first I guess, in-season trophy tournament that we've won in numerous years. So I'm um, taking the – we're starting with 91, I think it is, and we're going to get rid of that one and put that one up, and then we're going to start our own. Like, new UMass, like, okay, we've had our, the glory years. This is, this is our new identity. This is what we're trying to do is live off the history, but let's build our own history. And um, the guys, I think they really like that, and um, they took it on as, as their own with some ownership. Did you get a trophy for this? If not, I'm going to go get one from the, the place. <laughs> I'm going to make my own. Gary, uh, Gary Curry mentioned that when, when high scores are recruited out of high school students, it takes time for the buy in that the defense comes first. Has, this been a, has it been easy for these guys? Has it been easy for you to convince them? Has it been a hard sell or somewhere in the middle? Uh, uh, somewhere in the middle. Uh, because we have good kids that want to win, I think they're going to do what, what I need them to do, it, it, but it takes time. Um, you know. From Anthony to Freddie to guys that really put up major numbers in, in high school and, and even at college at times, to get them to buy in that defense wins championships is, is some, sometimes a difficult task. But at the same token, I think they're starting to realize that when we play great defense, we score more. 
So it's like a, it's a strange carryover. But those guys have been have been good, and you know, a few of them still have some work to do defensively. I'm not gonna act like we're a finished product because we're not by any stretch. Not even not even close, Ron. Not even close to where I want this team to be. How do you feel uh, Javon played today, Montero? Well, you know, I, I think he two wins against two very good teams can be correlated to him, you know, being back in the lineup. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'd said it before, the three best practices we had um, for the season were the three days he practiced, and then he was hurt the rest of the time. Mm -hmm. So I think as he gets more comfortable, he's just a glue guy. He's like he's like the kid Antonio Anderson from uh, was for us at Memphis, just like a tough killer that would do whatever you need him to do, and he was trying to win the ball game. It doesn't matter. And I think Javon has that attitude. And what he's done is because of how we play, he's brought one more ball handler and guy that can get by people and get other guys shots. Um, so I thought he was he was good today. I don't know if he tweaked his ankle again. I'm, I'm hoping that we're healthy and fresh for Wednesday because I want to make sure that these guys realize we have a team in AIC coming in that, you know, they're a local team that's going to play. This is their Super Bowl to come and play, you know, up in the Moen Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I would ask the fans to come out and support this team. They're starting to play the game the way it's supposed to be played. They're starting to compete at a high level. we got a nice record. Come support this team. I mean, we can't build this without everybody being involved. Students, people in the area, season ticket holders, come to the games. Support these guys. Thank you. Actually, I did the way we worked in the um, preseason. We did, we did a great job. We worked a lot harder than we did last year. And um, I knew the hard work would pay off. This team, what's the atmosphere in the locker room right now? You guys pretty excited to come out of this? Definitely. Two, two tougher teams, than, at least name-wise, than, than you started with and, and to play as well as you did? Definitely. Um, in the locker room, we just talked about we don't want no letdowns. We. Like we said, like Anthony said last game, we had letdowns last year where we went in the game knowing that we could have won, and we gave them up. But um, this year, the, um, Coach Callum, he's been preaching, once you have a team down, don't let up, just keep them down. And that's what we've been doing. You guys seem to to be almost enjoying playing defense, which not every team does. It seems like you guys are, are getting into it and enjoying the results of it. Yeah, every day in practice, we, um, we do a lot of defensive drills. We beat up each other, so... <laughs> We like we like to come out here and be a block competition. <laughs> is it is it important with that sort of sacrifice made and commitment to defense to see results like this? Like you guys know you're on the right track. Oh, definitely because um, so now that when we go back to practice and we do our defensive drills, people don't moan and groan. We know that the, um, the drills that we've been doing in practice has helped us on the court. Is that the biggest difference between last year and this year? Our defense and that we've been um, we've been better teammates to one another. And we've been um, taking better shots. We've been better teammates by everybody. Even if um, a player doesn't go in, he still cheers for his teammates on the bench. Um, there's not a lot of negative energy. Last year, we, we probably had like a little bit of people complaining about not playing enough or this and that. But this year, we all won. We all won. We just a family. Where's that come from, do you think? Um, our seniors this year, because last year we only had one senior leader, Ricky, and he did a good job. But this year, now that we have three, it's like it. It's more like they just they just come together and it's three heads you have to listen to. So it's not just only one guy. He can't be like everybody has to listen. So. Javon, you got a game Wednesday against a D2 team, and you talk about avoid letdowns. Is this a particularly important game to focus on? I'm not letting you against a team like that. Definitely, we um we watched a little bit of their game. They're they're a tough team. They play hard. So um, Coach Kellogg just talked in the locker room. They're gonna be um, they're gonna be scrappy and they're gonna try to come and get after us. So this one in particular, after coming to get a good win against TCU, it's going to be tough. It's going to be important for us to come out and play hard and win. What about the beginning of the game? You guys, you got tied. They got ahead for a little bit, and then you hit that jumper. I mean, talk about kind of coming back like that after the slow start. Uh, we we had a slow start, but we were playing good defense, and um, everybody was attacking the rim like Coach Keller asked. So we knew that eventually our defense would kick in, and they'll start getting tired and taking bad shots, and we were going on runs. How do you feel you performed today? Um, I feel I performed pretty uh, pretty well. I did the things Coach Keller asked, but I need to um, stop turning the ball over. I had, I think, about three or four turnovers. I need to handle the ball a lot better under pressure. Was, was Gary's back-to-back three-pointers kind of a knockout blow? It seemed like that. Yeah, yeah. Kind of Definitely, because um, when, we, when we came out at the beginning of the half, we talked about we wanted to get the lead up to 20, and that's what his threes did. Gary, you, uh, you, had, you, had, you had injured your ankle and had barely shot the ball until that point. You just decided, all right, now it's time? 
<laughs> I wish that was the case. No, um, I mean, I was open, so in practice every day we work on, we work on uh, taking open shots. And, um, I mean, my job as, you know, one of the blue guys at the point club, when I get open shots, I got to be able to knock them down. And I was able to do that tonight. That second one, you just beat the, uh, the buzzer on it. You didn't have a whole lot of time to, to play around with that one. Nah, you know, I just had it in my hands and tried to, try to let it go and, you know, break the best. Sometimes, sometimes that better? Is that better? Don't, sometimes don't think about it, just put it up? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as, a, as you're a shooter, you don't ever want to be able to think about it. And um, so I just try to get it in my pocket as fast as possible, you know, put the shot in. I wish the ankle, Gary. It seems like the TCU guy could have been called for clipping there when, the, when you got wiped out. Uh, it's a little sore. I mean, I'll, I'll be all right. Um, you know, just get some ice, line, go to treatment tomorrow, and I'll get ready for Wednesday. You just kind of provide a little bit of drama there? Trust me, I wish I did. <laughs> I mean, uh, I sprained my ankles before in the past, uh, and this one, so I knew exactly what it was, so it's going to happen. Did you think when it, uh, I was teasing before, I'm assuming, did you think when it happened it was worse than it was? Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, the pain came immediately. Um, I felt it swell up a little bit, so we went in the back, you know, so I to tape it, retape it, and uh, my trainer actually taped it so tight so my foot would go numb, so I wouldn't feel the pain. So uh, that was our strategy behind that one. Yeah, you've been around for a long time. What feels different uh, this year? Um, I feel like the first time in a while we all have like the same common goal. I mean, if you look at the scoring, um, it, was very, it was very balanced. I mean, I think we had like five or six guys in, uh, in double figures. Um, and we all talk about defending. That's the first thing we want to do is be able to defend. And um, in the past couple games, um, that's what we've been, we've been able to do. You know, take the, take the offense out of what they like to do and then just try to get the ball off, rebound, and run. I know all Kellogg talks about his defense, but do you think it took guys a little time to get used to that and adjust and get their mindset in the right spot? Yeah, I mean, if you, you recruit a bunch of guys who are scorers in high school, I mean, it takes time for them to really, you know, buy in and understand the concepts and exactly what you want to do. So um, I feel like we got a group of guys who, who, who are understanding and know exactly what coach wants us to do, and we're just trying to perform to the best of our ability. Is this game especially significant because, you know, it's great to, to play well once, like you just said, this is two in a row, but this must mean something significant. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know before New Mexico State, we talked about are we ever going to be able to put a full 40 minutes together. I know you think our first game, Ryder, played terrible in the first half. We came out good in the second. Um, I don't know who we played after that. I don't know who we played after that. Oh, Sacred Heart. Yeah, we kind of laid an egg there. You know, we didn't really come out with the intensity that we needed to. And so we went from a game like that to really put one together with New Mexico State and put another one together. So we're just trying to build on those things and you know just try to move forward. Javon, what do you think you're going to try to improve on for next game? Um, the next game, I need to get. I honestly need to get back in shape because I've been out for a while. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to win it out there. And, um, and when the pressure comes next game, I need to be able to back off and handle the ball. I need to stop turning the ball, like I said before. Okay.